Hello, I'm Larry Ponto Brown, and hopefully by now most of you have already had your two sessions with Ayana and with regard to your vision board. She's probably done an excellent job of helping you categorize and prioritize the things that are important to you. And so I'm just going to give you a little bit of feedback on how to approach finding imagery for your vision board. The first thing is this is a visual project, so make sure you get colorful things. Some images can be black and white, but make sure you go the extra mile of finding pictures that best depict what you're trying to say. Um, the baseline for finding imagery is magazines, tabloids, and other printed materials. The reason why is the cheapest, it's the best way to do it, it's the quickest way to do it, and you could probably find some really nice imagery to offset what you could already say. Magazines are great because they have great typography, great imagery, and you can combine the two together. Look for quotes. If you have books you don't mind cutting up, you can look at some of your books and pull your quotes. Um, words that mean something to you. You might go through the magazine and see particular words that might mean something to you. Uh, you can use old photographs, but I would caution that you go and get uh, to get a color copy of those photographs rather than actually cutting your photographs. And so uh, that's the baseline and the easiest way to prepare for this project. Now, for some of you that are more technically savvy, savvy, you can go right to uh, online and go to Google and put in a word and images will pop up. But the, what I want you to do is look, scroll over the image and you'll see a DPI number, okay? If it's 600 DPI or less, it's trash to you. It's not going to turn out right. But if it's a 1,000 or more, you can use it. And that's a good place to find backgrounds. In my case, I like the Grand Canyon, so I'm going to go to Google and find a Grand Canyon picture. It's going to be a 1,000 or more DPI. I'm going to right-click over top of that image. I'm going to save it into a folder on my computer. I'm going to write it to a thumb drive. I'm going to take it and either place it in Word or I'll place it in another program, take it to Kinko's, have them print it out on thin paper, and then I'll be able to cut those images and use them in my, uh, in my collage. So keep that in mind as you go along. There's A, the simple way, magazines, tabloids, and other printed materials, pre-printed materials, and then there's the online ver method. The online method is probably the most efficient, but it has more steps associated with it. I'll probably be using the online method to find most of my imagery. But there's a couple things we're gonna be using that uh, you should be familiar with, so don't worry about tools. Now, but one thing I wanna try to keep in mind is that back at home, you probably had these really small scissors that you use fingernails and cut details with. And that are these. If you have something like this, bring them. They'll be very beneficial to you. I will have standard cutting scissors, but if you have anything that can get small cut, small details, bring those with you. That'll be. I'll have a few of these, but not many. But I will have adequate scissors for everybody. Another thing that we're going to be using too is Exacto Blade, which is the best and most efficient way to cut details out. Now, some of you guys are going to be worried about uh, cutting off your fingers. I wouldn't worry about that. We'll have first aid there just in case we lose a finger. No, we're not going to lose a finger. But these are very, very accurate tools. So um, be prepared to use one of these. I'll show you, give you a run through when we in our class on how to use these. And the other thing is we'll be using these glue sticks from um, um, Elmer's glue sticks. It's not messy, it lays flat, so that's what we'll be using as a baseline. Now, as far as other things like uh, painting, I can give you a, a background, it's going to be done on paper, so I can do something with color in the background or white in the background. You might even start color, white, black. I have a couple of different varieties of paper you can start your collage on, but uh, just be willing to have fun. This is visual, visual, visual. Pick great imagery. Why not have a picture of yourself in there? It doesn't make sense to do a vision board if it doesn't have a picture of you in it. So if you can take a picture from your camera and do the second method of going online, putting it on a thumb drive, getting it printed, then you can do that. Um, it's a lot of different ways you can do getting those types of images. Or you can take pictures that you already may have in, that are recent pictures and just get color Xeroxes of them. That's about all for right now. I'm looking forward to seeing you next Sunday. Hope you'll have a wonderful time. Come prepared to have a good time. But most of all, let's get these vision boards in place and let's start shooting to have 19, uh, 2019 be the year you want it to be. I'll see you next Sunday.